Hello, and welcome back to the Butler Collegian Newscast. I'm Ethan Pollack. The Real Business Experience class is hosting its Marketplace event this week inside Dugan Hall. On Friday, attendees who enter the lobby from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. will have the opportunity to view and purchase products from the student-led businesses. The 32 different teams received a small loan from the university at the beginning of the year and were tasked with selling their service while analyzing the data. This marketplace only happens once a semester, so don't miss your chance to support the fellow Bulldogs. Butler's Apartment Community Assistance Program is organizing a food drive for second helpings. The fundraiser will be on March 28th from 7 to 8 p.m. inside the doghouse. Students can donate high-demand canned foods like pasta or rice or even just cash. For more information on second helpings and what they do in the Indianapolis community, visit their website at www.secondhelpings.org. The Butler speech team returned last week from the Pi Kappa Delta National Tournament with some new hardware. Multimedia reporter Eva Hallman shares her experience at one of the largest speech tournaments in the country. So it is currently day three of Pi Kappa Delta, our national tournament. Yep, you heard that right. Today is day three of four of our Pi Kappa Delta National Speech and Debate Competition in Westchester, Pennsylvania. I'm going to take you along today on a little abridged journey of a day in the life. It was a very hectic and crazy week as we've been competing from 8 a.m. to about 6 p.m. every single day. So enjoy a little bit of the highlights of day three. I am currently walking to one of my last rounds, my last preliminary rounds. I have no idea if I'm going to advance or not, but I'm heading to my dramatic interpretation and my poetry. I'm very excited to go compete with those today. I would have taken you guys along since the start of the day, but having to wake up at 6.30 for the second time in a row kind of left me a little sluggish, so I thought I'll just take you along for the ride once I get here at beautiful Westchester University. So once I get done with the rounds, I'll meet up with the rest of the team. Before we find out if anyone breaks their finals, after! <laughs> so it's been a few hours later, so I did my quarterfinals round and I thought it went well, but I'm very proud of my team. We had a lot of people do break in debate, which was really awesome to see and it is currently a little after 7 p.m. So we've been here for almost 12 hours. And so we're gonna go back to the hotel room, get some pizza, get some homework done, and then be ready and prepared to see who all makes it to the next round of debate. And then for semifinals for IE events. Hi everyone, as you can tell, I am back at Bali University from Nationals and just kind of recapping on that day in the life. It kind of wasn't as much of a day in the life because we were competing so much. But if you want to see the full ranking and the list of how everyone did, including how Butler did, go check out the BU Speech and Debate Instagram. There you can find the full rankings and fun fact, Butler placed 23 overall in the nation. That is incredible, ranked 23rd in the nation and 10th in Division II is absolutely incredible. We have a showcase coming up and I would love to see you there. So stay tuned for some more information on that. But that is kind of the end of the season, but there is still so much more to come from Speech and Debate and we'd love to have you next year. And yeah, thanks for following me and a day in the life. Thanks, Eva. That's gonna do it here for this week's Butler Collegian Newscast. To stay up to date with all things news on Butler's campus, visit our website at thebutlercollegian.com or on Twitter at Butler Collegian. For the Butler Collegian, I'm Ethan Pollack.